Hi everyone, I just wanted to record this quick addendum to the most recent pulley guard tutorial and it's based on an excellent comment by Neil Marshall in the YouTube comments, so thanks for that comment Neil. And it involves working efficiently. Now in the tutorial I used the poly quilt tool and I was clicking and dragging out polygons one by one. And that definitely isn't a very efficient way to work, I understand that. The PolyQuilt tool does have an extra feature which wasn't working when I recorded the tutorial for some reason, and that is to hold down the Shift key and click. So if I move the cursor over the edge and hold down Shift, that creates that polygon, which is really fast as you can see. So definitely a much more efficient way to work with that tool. So I didn't show the PolyQuilt tool in its best light by just clicking and dragging out these polygons like that. I can also hold down the Alt key, click and drag, and extrude out those edges. So definitely faster way to work than I was actually showing in the tutorial. Just do that, and I can just snap that together. Same with this, and snap that together. So much, much faster. And one thing you can also do that I haven't shown is just if I click on the white arrow and hold, I can create a strip of polygons, which is really useful as well. This is such a versatile tool, and I'm still discovering things that it can do. Now. Let me just undo a few steps there. So we saw how I can hold down the shift and create a new polygon. There are a couple of other tools that you can use to do something similar to that. One is the F2 add-on, which is free and comes with Blender. You just got to turn it on in your preferences. So if I just select this edge and hit F, that'll recreate that face. Now if I hit F again, it gives me a quad, but it's not really a useful quad. And that's where the PolyQuilt tool is a little better. You could also use Machine Tools Smart Face. It's a little more advanced than F2. It's also free. And if you select the vertex and hit 4, that rebuilds in a more logical way. And also selects the next vertex, which is really handy too. And that's a really good way to quickly rebuild areas of your model. Just like this. So definitely way more efficient. And I probably should have used those techniques in that tutorial. And once again, thanks to Neil for pointing that out. And hopefully that's cleared that up. So have fun with that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.